Hey guys, my name is Doug with Infotainment.com. Today we're on the 11 to 2018 Dodge Journey. Uh, what I'm about to show you also works in the 11 to 14 Dodge Charger and the 11 to 14 Chrysler 300. But in either case, this is just the small plain Jane 4 inch screen um, and we're in a, a Dodge Journey in this instance. Um, a lot of you have the 4-inch screen. We've had a ton of requ requests over the years for the 8-inch screen. We've been selling them for a while. Just getting around to doing a video now to show you how easy it is to go from the 4-inch screen to the 8-inch screen. And today we're going to uh, show you the one, the 8-inch screen with embedded navigation. Um, installation is very easy. We're going to replace this climate control panel here. Um, this bezel surround here will be replaced with a larger cutout for the 8.4-inch screen. And last but not least, I wanted to point out one thing. Now, in this particular vehicle, there's just an off button here. Now, if there's an off button here, that means this vehicle doesn't have automatic temperature control. Um, this installation is recommended for vehicles with the auto button here. If yours says the off button, what you'll have to do is get the extra programming tool by obdgenie.com. And this tool will convert your vehicle to be automatic ready which means the climate and everything will be pretty much good to go when you do the upgrade, those of you who have the off button. So I'll demonstrate how that works at the end of this video. But in either case, let's go ahead and get started. All you're gonna need is a pry tool or a flathead screwdriver, a T20 Torx bit, and a Phillips head screwdriver. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is shut off the vehicle. We always recommend to disconnect the negative battery terminal, but in this case for the video, we're just gonna go ahead and get started. So the Dodge Journey is a little bit different than the 300 and the, the uh, Charger. You have to remove these little two trim plates here. Uh, but other than that, it's just gonna be the exact same procedure for the Charger 300 and the Journey. That'll give us access to two T20 torque screws. At this point, this will just pop out. We're gonna unplug the connector that's in the top here. Set that aside. That'll give us access to the four T20 screws Then we're just gonna disconnect the plugs that are in the back of this unit here. And set this aside. Next thing we're gonna do is remove the two screws, which are Phillips head in this vehicle, that hold in the bezel. And this will just come loose. Then on the back side, there will be three connections here, so we're going to remove those. Now what we're going to do is, um, if the bezel we send you doesn't have the AC vents, you're going to have to take them from your existing bezel and pop them into the new one. We're also going to utilize the four screws that hold in this module here to hold in the 8-inch screen. All right, so here's the bezel that we removed with the integrated um, screen here. What we're gonna send you is an eight inch screen and we're gonna send you a replacement bezel. Now what you're gonna need to do, as I mentioned, is you're gonna need to remove the three screws that hold in the climate, the vents here. You're gonna take this assembly off and put it onto the bezel that we send you. We're gonna remove these four screws and reuse these screws to hold the 8 inch screen into the 8 inch bezel.
All right, now our screen is in place. Now we just got to put in the climate control vents. To do so, I'm going to release the few tabs that are up on top. These are the tabs I'm talking about here. And what we're going to do is we're going to slide the assembly into those same tabs. Actually, we're going to transfer the little chrome strip. Those of you that have that, we'll transfer that first. Then we're going to slide this into place and then just reinstall those three screws. Now we're ready to install the 8 inch, 8.4 inch display in the vehicle. Alright, now what we can do is we can install the 8 inch screen here using the same exact three connectors. Then on the top here, there's a little guide pin along with some retaining clips. All you're gonna do is just kind of snap it into place and then we can install our two screws here which were Phillips head in this particular vehicle All right, now we're going to install the RB5 module, the CD player here. Using all the exact same connectors, I'm going to plug it in. Now those of you who don't have Bluetooth and don't have backup camera in your vehicle, and now is the perfect time to do it, those are upgrades we offer on our website. Since you already have it kind of torn apart a little bit, we have plug and play backup camera kits and plug and play factory Bluetooth Uconnect kits. So be sure to check out our website for those as well. So now we slid the RB5 module into place. We can go and go ahead and reinstall the screws. Last but not least, we're going to install the new climate control panel. This one's going to have a little cutout here for the SD card slot and it's also going to have the auto button. As I mentioned, if your vehicle has the automatic temperature control, you won't need the special programmer. Everything will just plug and play. And those of you who don't have the auto button, as I mentioned, you'll need to get this separate genie. We can now install our little trim parts. Now, as I mentioned, this vehicle does not have the automatic temperature control. So we're gonna run this programmer. Um, those of you who have the auto on your factory climate control don't need to do this procedure, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it anyways for those of you who don't have it. So you're gonna put the vehicle into the run position and we're going to plug the programmer into the OBD2 port. And all we're doing here is just waiting for the green light. Now that we have the green light, we can remove it and stow it away. 
All right, now that we're done with everything, we went ahead and let the vehicle sleep there for about three minutes. Um, that allowed the climate control programmer to take in effect with the BCM. So let's start the vehicle and check it out. You notice a nice big 8.4 inch screen. I mean, it's a hell of a difference between the 4.2 to the, to the 8.4. So you, within the radio home key here, you have AM, FM radio. You have satellite radio. Within the player, you'll be able to play your um, CDs. You'll also be able to use your SD um, port here, your aux and your USB beneath. Controls feature, if you have heated or cooled seats, that would show up here. The climate now works. We'll turn the AC on here. Now, when it comes to the temperature here, we always recommend put it on sync. That way both show the same temperature. But just drag and drop it here. It, it, advise your customer if you're doing the installation for the customer to just drag and drop it here um, to set your temperature. You'll notice everything works just as designed uh, with the different settings here. So just a really slick upgrade. This particular one, as I mentioned, is the NAV. So you notice we have full strength already. As long as you have Sirius satellite radio, you're going to get um, the GPS signal through that antenna as well. So this is the Garmin system. Works really well. Those of you who are familiar with Garmin, um, it uses the exact same platform. Now you have a nice big 8.4 inch display to utilize that Garmin system. And just as most of you know, um, it does have all the Garmin features, so you could go to your home addresses, recently found points of interest, so on and so forth. Just a really slick nav upgrade. It also has the junction view, which a lot of people love. And then, of course, you have your settings menu over here where you can um, change the settings of your vehicle. So just a real slick upgrade to go from the 4-inch to the 8.4-inch um, display here. In this particular situation, we, we went to nav. We also have a cheaper option for those of you who want the nice big display without nav, uh, which is the RE2 radio. But again, this works in the 11 to 18 Dodge Journeys, the 11 to 14 Chargers, and the 11 to 14 Chrysler 300s. Um, come check us out. If your vehicle doesn't have a backup camera, man, now's the time to do it. Um, same thing with Uconnect Bluetooth, hands-free. Um, we have a plug-and-play kit that we offer on our website for this vehicle. Um, so check that out as well. Uh, we also offer other cool things like front cameras and side cameras and all sorts of really cool kits. So come check us out at infotainment.com. Thanks for watching, guys.